Hello, my name is Ryan Zakos. I'm with Zakos Realty here out of Sarasota, Florida. I'm standing here in my office in downtown, right off of Orange, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about one of my favorite neighborhoods in all of Sarasota. So typically when you think of prestigious communities or prestigious neighborhoods in Sarasota, you think of gated communities with perfectly manicured yards, probably a little bit cold culturally, high HOAs. If you're lucky, there may be one more than one custom builder in the neighborhood, which does create a little bit of architectural differences. But for the most part, there's probably only a couple builders in the neighborhood. So a lot of the homes look, look and feel very similar. There may be a private golf course or things like that, but this neighborhood is exactly the opposite. It is very rich in, in history. As you drive or walk these streets, they are canopied with century old oak. You look out over the bay and you'll see dolphins and manatees and fish playing in the bay. And it is a very active lifestyle community. Homes range that were built in the early 1900s all the way up to yesterday. So it's just a very culturally rich old Florida neighborhood. This neighborhood is Indian Beach and Sapphire Shores. Indian Beach starts just north of Whitaker Bayou. Indian Beach and Sapphire Shores go up to the Ringling Museum, University Parkway on the north side. It is just north of downtown Sarasota, west of the trail. That is a local term for Tamiami Trail. So west of the trail, north to University Parkway or the Ringling Museum. Starting with Indian Beach, you'll see in Indian Beach the very modest 1920s to 1950s ranches kind of predominantly make up this neighborhood. There is an Indian Beach Park where you can watch the sunset over the beach. And if you were to ask anyone what their favorite thing is of Indian Beach neighborhood, it would be the trees. Everyone loves these hundreds of oak trees that are huge, that are centuries old, that line these streets. The streets are canopied, that the Spanish moss is just hanging from them. The way the light shines through them, it creates that old Florida charm. And it's wonderful for its fishing. And even not that long ago, it was, it was a wonderful hunting spot in Sarasota, but obviously as Florida has grown that is, is not there anymore. So just north of Indian Indian Beach is Sapphire Shores. Sapphire Shores is the is a neighborhood where you'll find about 20 Spanish or Mediterranean style mansions. You'll see other larger mansions and uh, everything from these mansions to 1920s cottages to um, also those 1950 ranch style homes. But you will feel like it's a these homes are a little bigger, they're brighter, there's more eclectic nature, there's more history, culture, and there's a little difference in that. Well, one part of that, a reasoning, is when the Katazan, which was John and Mabel Ringling's personal residence, John Ringling of the Ringling Brothers, and hence the Ringling Museum, just, just north of Sapphire Shores, the, the Katazan, when that was being built in the 1920s, it created this little bit of boom in this exact area, so people, we're coming here, they're building their mansions on or close to the water right there. They're actually using the same architects and even the same material as they were using to build John Ringling's Katazan home, which is you know 36,000 square feet directly on the bay. Fun fact was I was actually married there at the Katazan, which is a makes for a wonderful location to, to celebrate marriage over over on the bay and watching the sunset come over is just absolutely gorgeous. But just south of, of the Ringling Museum and the Katazan is, is Sapphire Park, the Sapphire Shores neighborhood, and these homes are just busting with which history and beauty and just that eclectic nature from everything from, like we talked about, the Mediterranean, Spanish, to new modern homes today and everything in between. So it's just a wonderful wonderful neighborhood i actually have sold a couple of properties just recently just in the last month there i've sold a, a lot where we're going to be doing a very nice modern new custom construction home as well as a 1950s over 3,000 square foot home with a lot of rich spanish character to it the lot sold for just under 400,000, and with a custom builder you're talking about you know we're between Two to three hundred and fifty a square foot, and then the three, you know, just over three thousand square foot home. That's only a couple couple homes in from the bay, uh, sold for right about a million, or right, actually right over a million. 
So this whole entire area, Indian Beach and Sapphire Shores, you will find homes anywhere from the low 400s all the way up to well over seven, seven million. I actually just looked this morning and there is a house that is on the market for the six million range and then there is a, a home available in the 400s. So it's a great diverse neighborhood regarding the, the type of home, the price point of the home, the, the size and shape and beauty of the homes. It's very, very diverse. There's that element of higher education to the community. It's very active lifestyle. It's a community where you'll see people out walking their pets, walking their dogs, going out of the park. There's a Sapphire Park has a canoe launch, a playground, picnic tables, a, a bike rack to park your bike. So you'll see tons of people out every single night, whether it's eating their dinner by the, at the park, watching the sunset, walking their dog, or just enjoying each other's companies. It's definitely a neighborhood that you wanna check out. I will say that as you do get closer to the trail or closer to US 41, which is Tampa Bay Trail, you will see these 70 year old motels that still in existence. They still offer, you know, pay per night type hotels. So there's some areas that as you might see it, it might be like, oh, well, I don't wanna go back in there. I'm not interested in those homes in there. But as you do get in into the neighborhood, you will fall in love with the nature, you'll fall in love with the beauty, the, the old Florida culture just abounds in this neighborhood. So something that you wanna check out, you wanna see, and being that it is um, walkable to Sarasota, Bradenton International Airport, you're only four miles north of downtown Sarasota, and you're a couple of steps to the beautiful Sarasota Bay, it's definitely a neighborhood that's worth considering. If you have any questions, if I can help you in any way, please do not hesitate to reach out. I look forward to talking to you soon.